Welcome to the Five Writers Five Minutes podcast, in which five authors share their top writing tips. I'm Leon Tanner. I'm Sarah Armstrong. I'm Tristan Banks. I'm Deborah Abella. And I'm Zanny Louise. Today we are going to talk about free writing, which is basically pouring your thoughts onto paper without worrying about spelling or punctuation or whether it's any good or not. I know it's something that all five of us do when we're starting out on a story, but I'm wondering if we all do it the same way. Sarah, how do you free write? I free write all the way through, right from the beginning. So when I'm first discovering an idea, I'm just sort of fishing around in the dark, looking for an idea. I'll free write. I'll just sort of totally free, free write with no idea of what I'm writing about, just to explore an idea. Or I have a little inkling of an idea and I'll just free write. It's almost like I'm writing notes to myself. I might start with the words I want to write about, for instance, then I just see what emerges. And I free write, by the way, both pen and paper, but also I free write onto my laptop. I think I, I was a journalist for many years. And I think I just got used to going straight to the computer. But then even later in the process, like let's say final draft, I might feel like, or my editors uh, might feel like a particular scene is not working. So I just set it aside and I just completely free write it all over again just to see what else emerges. Then I might use a bit from the original and a bit from the free write. So I think free writing exists on a continuum, totally free and with guidelines. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, excuse me, I think it's really interesting that you can do it on your, on your um, computer as well as by hand, because for me, it's completely by hand. Um, uh-huh. Tristan, how about you? I'm by hand as well. Every morning I wake up and I just begin and I just see what happens. And I often start with uh, my story is about, or I'll complain about a few things and I'm tired and I'm hungry and it's 10 past five and I wish I'd slept in and I wish I had a real job with superannuation and stuff like that. <laughs> and then, and then I'll go, okay, lock in and I'll go, all right, Ben Silver is, or Olive Silver is this. And then I'll start about the character and I'll just start blurking stuff out. And more often than not, I come up with something within three lines. I'm writing something about the character that I didn't know before, or I might start my story is about is a big one with me that I actually started using on two wolves and I've used throughout my novel since my story is about, and I'll just start telling myself the story as though it's either a short synopsis or sometimes it ends up being over 15 pages. I just keep going and going and going and telling wow. myself the story from beginning to end. And I discover all these little scenes that I didn't know existed. So it's almost like you get the writing for free. Um, it's it's my favourite part of the writing process. Um, and I've been doing it for like 25 years. I love that that discovery. I love that sense of, of, you know, you're just writing with no idea what you're doing and then you find something there. That's so exciting. Uh, yeah. Deb, how about you? How do you free write? Yeah, look, I have to make a bit of a confession. So um, I, one of the reasons I love being part of this critique group is you, you we share ideas on how we do this same thing, but very, very differently. And so, yes, when you all mentioned that, oh, yes, I free write every day, I thought, mm-hmm. I don't. So oh, once I, oh, I don't do once, it every day. No, <laughs> well, oh. <laughs> well, I think so Tristan may be saying he did it every day. Yeah. And so I thought, well, yes, I've got lots of notebooks around, but I'm often the free writing is because I'm on a bus and I don't have my computer with me and I've got, oh, I've figured out a, a way to fix that character problem or whatever, and I'll free write in that way. But I love the way that Tristan, you mentioned, you kind of just do it every morning, whether it's about, you know, you're grumpy and tired or whatever, and then you just, you get into it. And so I actually do, I have brought out a little um, notebook that I did used to do free writing in, and now I'm doing it every single morning. And it's such a good way to start your day because mm. there's, there are no rules. Uh, you put, you've given permission to do anything. And from that, from this like large kind of brain splat, sometimes you can find these little gems so i'm actually recently converted to uh, the free writing process because of you lovely people nice (laughs) yeah Uh, that's that's one of my favorite things about the group that that we we learn all this stuff from each other Uh zanny tell me about your free writing well, I'm not nearly as disciplined as Tristan getting up every morning for 25 years. I haven't been doing that. But I definitely, it's so integrated into everything I do. And I have notebooks drifting around here, there, everywhere, in my handbag, on my phone, wherever I can find them. Um, but it is, for me, light magic. Uh, if I'm stuck, I go free write, I work something out. 
if I am, you know, I don't know where to start a story, I go in there, discover something and start a story. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, I think for me, it's like the shortest pathway to my imagination and my subconscious. And I love that it can be messy. I just love going in there. No one can read my handwriting, including me. Uh, <laughs> but there's something about the act of just literally transcribing your thought or that something deep into your, uh, from your subconscious onto the paper draws out the story in a way that nothing else does for me. So I would like to be more disciplined like Tristan. I don't know if that's in my personality to, you know, enable that to happen, but I'm going to aspire to that because for me, it's just so useful. I might Probably be misleading yeah. you by, by <laughs> thinking that I'm disciplined, you know, it's my undisciplined nature that, that allow that makes free writing so fun. Because sure. Sure. It, you know, it allows me to do <laughs> okay. It. You're not disciplined, Tristan, but we like, we, we like what you're yeah, doing. Yeah. Um, what yes, about you, Leon? <laughs> how do you, how does free it's writing work for you, Leon? It's that it's that thinking on paper, exactly like you said, Zanny, and, and there is a form of magic in it. Um, I always do it by hand. I use free writing if I'm stuck, if I've got a scene and it's driving me crazy and I don't know what's happening in the scene, I'll sit down and I'll free write it. Um, if I'm looking for ideas, I'll free write. When I was coming up with ideas for Spellhound, mm -hmm. I found this really lovely picture, this really interesting picture of an old ship in the middle of a lake and it was so old, like it was rusty and it had trees growing out of it and I thought oh I, I like the look of this and I don't know why but I do so I did a free writing on it and just a few lines in these words came up the floating forest and that then the floating forest became this really really important part of of the book um and it was nothing like the floating forest in the picture. You know, there was no old ship in it or anything like that. But doing the free writing brought those words up for me. So, yes, totally magical process. And I love it. And, Leanne, is it a bit like acting? For you? you come from a sort of performance background. Is it anything like improvisation at all? Or? I was always hopeless at improvisation, <laughs> Tristan. Somebody <laughs> said improvisation. I was out the door. Oh, okay. I'm surprised. <laughs> um, <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Look, we hope you will try free writing because it is really, really a fun thing to do. There's no pressure. Like we said, it doesn't have to be any good. Just pour your thoughts down on paper and see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. See ya.